Good afternoon, listeners, and welcome from the Competitive Build Stadium at the LAM for this afternoon's first Northern League. Um, Northern League. National League, no. <laughs> National League. <laughs> oh, could we start again? National League game of the season against Scunthorpe United here. Uh, this broadcast is, as always, brought to you by your very own Lambs media team, who are in proud association with Tamworth SC Team Builder. I'm Kev Clark, and alongside me is Stu Bywater. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to what is a, actually a bit of a drab afternoon in terms of the weather. But the atmosphere, though, Kev, is, uh, is absolutely buzzing, isn't it? The away end is packed and rocking. The shed is as well. There's hundreds and hundreds of Scunthorpe United fans are. We're underway for the first game in the season. It's where Tamworth just needs to be careful now. We don't want to get Liam Dolman isolated. In goes the number 11 into the Tamworth area. Low shot deflected, defended well by Tamworth. Had sufficient numbers there. Tamworth looking to burst on to over halfway now. It's a schooner. And they're fed in by Creaney. It's a schooner's ball wide to a quay. Just slightly heavy. It's just going to slow up that momentum a little bit. But Tamworth still in possession. Into the area they go now with a quay. Back to Milnes. Goes for the low shot. Deflected. Back in possession, Milnes. Good looking ball in towards Creaney. Just over his head. And the warm applause from around us indicates to you listeners that that was a decent looking ball in and not really far away. <coughs> Thomas pressing again through Jealous. That's a good touch into to Schooner. Low ball across, just took a touch off. Ogle ahead of uh, Akwai because he was bearing in at the far post and he would have had a simple tap in. Eight out of ten, you would say, are really on point. They tend to go to the far post where Creaney is waiting. In it goes to that area then. Creaney's head back across goal and it's away from goal. Milnes with a follow-up, slams it into the Scunthorpe defender, bounces wide, Akwai with the attempted cross again. Still Tam was in possession, Akwai once more with a shot! It's in the back of the Scunthorpe net from Ben Akwai! And Tam do take the lead on 29 minutes here at the Comparable Stadium. Scunthorpe had no answers, they couldn't clear their lines. Three attempts at it, but Tamworth kept the pressure on. Now, back underway, a corner for Tamworth. Whipped in by Finn towards far post, and Creaney does get half a head on it. Under a lot of pressure, it has to be said, but he knows that was a good chance, and he's drifted a yard wide, and a goal kick to Scunthorpe. By the letter of the law, that they're yellow cards, but equally every week we see it, and they're never given us yellow cards, are they? No. So, thrown to Scunthorpe then, as they're finishing this half, with a little bit of pressure in the Tamworth half. Ogle with the long throw from in front of the shed then loops up into the Tamworth area. Off the head of Cullinane Lybird. And a, a bit of a mix up. And it's in the back of the Tamworth net. Justin came for it late. Matt Curley. Matt Curley yeah. gets his head on it. And I think Scunthorpe will take a massive amount of um, confidence from that because they've not played well. They've not caused a problem for Tamworth. There's the half-time whistle towards Creaney. Scunthorpe defensive header falls to Ben Akwai. Now he's going to find support now with Finn at this near side in front of the main stand. Just held up, finds Jealous. He finds Akwai, neat little turn. No one went with him then. Akwai with a low shot and it wasn't really of sufficient quality to trouble. But Tam with the better team of the two. Akwai marauding forward. Creedy's peeled wide, it's Creedy's cross in towards Finn. He can't get enough on it, and it scoops on just wide into the path of Jealous now, who finds Cullinane Liber to return it, but it's off scales out for a Tamworth throw. Any meaningful touch there, Stuart, is in the back of the Scunthorpe net from Finn. So, unfortunately, we can't really confirm who was yellow carded there, but it was another Tamworth player. We can only obviously assume it wasn't one that had already been booked. I'll probably go with Captain Ben Milnes. Now, free kick for Scunthorpe then. In it goes from their 19. Headed across the area. In the back of the Tamworth net. In messy fashion. From the substitute. Danny Whitehall. Well, let's hope so anyway. Two goals in the last two pre-season games from Ben Milnes' free kicks. Can he add to it now? Or will it be Kyle Finns to send it in? Two arms aloft from 
Milne towards far post. Cullinane Lyber gets something on it and it's drifted wide. And all the heavy artillery now. Liam Dolman, Brad Gascoigne make their way up into the Scunthorpe box for this long throw from Jordan Cullinane Lyber. Only Matt Curley is back around the, eight, the halfway circle, centre circle. In it goes. Half cleared. Will be sent back in. Good ball, little ball in. Flicked header by Deacon into the arms of Fitzsimmons. It was easy for the goalkeeper in the end, but as Deacon rose there into that gap between fullback and centre back, he just thought for a moment that he would get it lofted over the goalkeeper, but it wasn't to be. It's gone long towards the far post. Heads go up. Half cleared out as far as jealous now towards that far touchline. It was reasonably well dealt with by Scunthorpe. Back in by Curley to the edge of the 18. Headed back across. Gascoigne's up there. Half cleared once more. Jealous with a low shot. Blocked. Falls to Arlett John now. Ball at feet. Twinkle toe. Rafts the crosser over. Still gets on the end of it. And in the end, the ball is out of play. That time and it's out of play. There's the final whistle. A really disappointing final score here at the Compare the Bills Stadium where it has finished. Tamworth 1, Scunthorpe United 2.